Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. The same time tomorrow, we'll probably be talking about some showers, but we are being spared for it tonight. But we do see some showers across some portions of New England, and they are sailing to the north of us. We're expecting dry conditions for the remainder of tonight, despite the muggy conditions. And we'll look for around 8 p.m. for tomorrow to start getting those showers around most of Connecticut. So I really looking like a low chance for any rain tomorrow until we get to five o'clock. That's when we see the cold front in Litchfield County. Fast forward to eight o'clock. Now we have a chance of rain across the I-91 corridor in eastern Connecticut. So it's spotty. It's not nonstop. It's not everywhere at this point. Seven o'clock on Saturday, but there's a good chance you could be seeing some raindrops at this point and we see more of those showers on the tail end of the system. Eleven o'clock and then we're looking at dry conditions as we get into Sunday the first half. However, we could see some more spot showers as the system finally departs in the evening. So after some daytime heating, so blue skies to start off Sunday, and then we'll see some clouds, some spot showers for the second half of the day. A look at our future projected rainfall totals. Not too much with this particular model, but we could see some more, some higher totals, and especially across the Litchfield Hills where some thunderstorms actually do develop. And specifically, Litchfield County has a chance for some of those uh, gusty conditions, maybe getting close to some of those severe wind thresholds that would be in western Connecticut. But otherwise, it should be a relatively gentle system through Connecticut. Here's a look at some of these winds that we'll be seeing through the next few days here. So it'll be a little gusty on Saturday and Sunday as the system goes through Connecticut and we'll see if this stands, but this model giving us some 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts on Tuesday. So uh, we are, you know, kind of shifting into fall here a little bit late. And as Mother Nature does that, whips up the winds a little bit for us. Our temperatures are going to be mild yet again for tonight. Impressive Moisture and impressive temperatures for this time of the year. 65 in Windsor Lock, 64 in Willimantic right now. And we'll see our temperatures barely getting down for tomorrow morning. In fact, in some places they could be rising overnight. And we'll see our temperatures getting into the mid 70s yet again. So stellar day tomorrow. If you can do something outside, it's going to be great. Whether it's yard work or going to one of the fairs across Connecticut is going to be a very, very nice day with those mid 70s. And we're talking about 60s. So as we transition into this next system, 65 degrees on Sunday, 58 on Monday, and we're back to the 60s. Blue skies, great stuff, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it is looking like we will see some, I'll say, unsettled weather for our upcoming weekend after this.